Okay, this is part one, variable type versus object type. So our key learning goal here is that there is a difference between the type of a variable and the type of an object. Okay, I have an example main method here, and I want you to pause so that you can visualize or draw a picture of what you think memory looks like at the end of the main method. Okay, so you pause the video and I'll keep going. Okay, so I've got the same code here, and then on the bottom right, I've got a picture of what that code is gonna create. But let me walk you through the pieces. And again, so here I've got the main method, and I'm drawing a stack frame that lists all the local variables. So when I execute this line, so the full line says cat c1 equals, or sometimes we say gets a new cat. What actually happens is I make the variable, and then I call the constructor, I make uh, I make that new cat object and then I do the assignment statement. So let's see how that maps to our figure. Okay, so cat c1, that makes the variable. So you can see in my stack frame, I have a variable named c1 and it has type cat. That's the thing that's written in a blue post-it note actually uh, on uh, facing sideways. On the right hand side that calls a, the cat constructor so I call new cat and that makes an actual cat object for us okay and then the last piece of that first line of code is we do the assignment statement that's that equals and what that does is that creates a reference to that newly created cat object. So C1 now references that cat object. Let's compare that to the second line, cat C2. Okay, so cat C2, that makes a variable with name C2. It's also of type cat, but we haven't given it a value, so there's no additional steps to do. And we'll represent that with a little X in the back and no remote control. Uh, so that one is null because we haven't given it a value. And null is a really important topic and concept to understand in Java. Okay, so now let's go back over the learning goal. There's a difference between the type of a variable and the type of an object. So that type of the variable, that was things like cat c1. c1 was a variable of type cat. c2 was a variable of type cat. And we can see that in our picture, those two variables, and then we list the type of it uh, sort of horizontally on that blue uh, piece of paper. Then the type of an object, that was either a cat object or with C2, we didn't even set it to anything, so it, there wasn't an object. Uh, and we can see that on the right-hand side. We have the new cat object that we created, and in the case of C2, we didn't create a new object, so we don't even have an object or a type for that object. So here we were hitting the key learning goal that there's a difference between the type of a variable and the type of an object.